All right. That's you checked in. I'll show you to your room. No, that's all right. I think I can find it. Oh, really? It's no problem. You gonna grab your bags? So, my name's Ryan Showalter. I didn't catch yours. It's Patrick. Most people call me Pat. My friends call me Penny. Penny, huh? How'd you get a name like that? Because I'm pretty as a penny. First time to Albuquerque? Yeah. It's a decent town. With a good amount of cherries. If you know what I mean. It can get crazy at night. It, if you hear any deep moaning, it's nothing to worry about. It's best to just ignore him. It's just Burkenio Bob. I gotta ask, what the hell's a Burkenio Bob? <laughs> Tell me, you like your job? It's all right. Are you under contract? Yeah, matter of fact, I am, yeah. Well, I hope you read the fine print. You see, Bob, he's a man, not quite a man. He's a burger, not quite a burger. I don't know if he's even edible. Hey, wait a minute. A burger man? What kind of yarn are you trying to spin? I am getting ahead of myself. There's a local legend that seems to be gaining some traction. Some say he was a short order cook who was scorned by his uppity boss. I've heard some punk ass kids say he was a world renowned chef whose specialty was gourmet patties. And while being overpaid and overpraised, one day, he made the wrong person a critic, a rare instead of a medium. And he's forever to pay the price. All that though is just hearsay, horse pucky. The truth of it is, and believe me, I know because the dude used to have my job at this very motel. He had a lot of gigs. He could never find one that gelled with him. You know the feeling. He was sick of the whole nine to five, so he thought he could be his own boss. He got a job working for one of those phone apps. <laughs> Seems like a bad choice, doesn't it? Oh, you've heard this before? Of course you haven't. You're not from around here. Where was I? Oh, he got a job with one of those apps. And lo and behold, he ain't exactly his own boss, waiting for the hungry folks to make an order so he can make that almighty dollar. You know how things go. You get tired, worn out, day in, day out. He's driving, picking up food and dropping off food. It gets old. Where's on you? So he felt like he had enough. He wanted to be done with it. Maybe come back to this motel gig. Believe me, it's not that bad. Well, so what happened? Did he quit the job? Or was he late on a delivery and he got murdered by some crazy hungry person? Jeez, man. I'm about there. <laughs> ah, he quit. Or at least he tried to. But it wasn't that easy. He was cursed to forever walk the streets of Albuquerque, feeling the pain of every order. Feeling the pain of being born to the sizzle and masticated by the famished masses. He'd be shocked to find out if he had any beef at all behind those cold, dead eyes.
And that's the sound you'll hear. It's poor Bob feeling every sizzle. <laughs> Laugh all you want. That app took his humanity and replaced it with two Chuck Patties smashed between wilted lettuce and two stale buns. <laughs> That has got to be the craziest goddamn thing I have ever heard. Isn't it? He should have read the fine print. So wait a minute, Penny. You mean to tell me that an app cursed this guy, doomed his soul, and reduced him to a burger? <laughs> First of all, my friends call me Penny. You can call me Mr. Foster. And hey, you asked to hear the legend. It's a small price to pay. I really don't think you're using that phrase correctly. Say la vie. <laughs> <laughs>